Hi guys! Welcome back to Fairy's Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be looking at food, nutrition, and health. And we're exploring the content, planning meals for different groups, featuring the elderly. Section 3 meal planning preparation and dining we're still on content 6 and we're looking at meal planning for different groups and today we'll explore the needs of the elderly now let's take a look at our focus points so we'll be identified those who are considered elderly problems that affect their nutritional status suitable foods for the elderly and also sample meals for the elderly which includes breakfast and dinner all right now let's kick things off with identifying those considered as elderly traditionally the elderly are considered to be those persons age 65 and older now many elderly women and some men suffer from a condition called osteoporosis now what is osteoporosis it is a condition that results in the gradual loss of calcium and other mineral from the skeleton bones become brittle may break easily and are painful now to help prevent this problem everyone but especially women should have plenty of calcium and vitamin d in their diet when younger and take regular exercise to strengthen the bone as well now the size of meals should decrease as people become less active but the quality should not now when we're thinking about the elderly or planning meals for the elderly this is what we should keep in mind right let's go again the size of the meals should decrease decrease because they are not active anymore therefore what they don't need as much calories but even though the size of the meal has decreased the quality of the meal should not all right now let us look at some problems that affect their nutritional status or we may say status all right now the first one we're looking at is depression grief loneliness failing health lack of mobility and other factors might contribute to depression and this will lead to a loss of appetite there is also another problem of limited access to food right so we speak of food security for the elderly right as adults with limited mobility may not have access to food or the right types of food so most elderly because most may have uh, bone conditions or other failing or ailing health you know as the older you get the immune system is weaker and thus they are prone of developing uh more uh, different types of health conditions right so some persons may not be mobile right so their mobility is limited and therefore they may have to depend on someone for food right so they have limited access to food right that's a problem right there next problem limited income or retirement so because uh the elderly they are not as strong as they used to so guess what they are not be they may not be working hard as they are used to right and some persons are retired good some are retired without a pension so the elderly may have trouble affording groceries especially if they're taking expensive medication so at this point less some lifestyle diseases may come on it may be diabetes it may be hypertension and then the cost of medication uh is can be high and versus the cost of grocery as well 
So most have reached the age of retirement, right? And have stopped working. And some, as I said before, without a pension. Now let's look at illnesses. So disease-related inflammation and illness can contribute to decline in appetite and changes in how the body processes nutrients. So we may speak of malabsorption, right? Utilization. The body, the body is not able to use even if the nutrients are taken into the body, right? Sometimes the body is not able to process those type of foods to get those nutrients from it and then therefore they start to develop other deficiency diseases or as well good no impairment in ability to eat difficulty chewing or swallowing poor dental health some elderly don't have any feet right or limited ability in handling tableware can contribute to malnutrition there's also the problem of dementia, right? Which is behavioral or memory problems from Alzheimer's disease or a related dementia can result in forgetting to eat, not buying groceries or other irregular food habits, right? There's also medications that may affect the appetite and also the ability of their body to absorb new trends good and these are just some of the problems that may affect their nutritional status and remember the nutritional status is determined by the quality and quantity of food eaten right so in relation to one's body good so if they're eating if they're not consuming as as much as their body needs then they will have if they're consuming poor foods or consuming empty calories right then then that will determine if they have a good or a bad nutritional status now that we have explored the problems that affect their nutritional status now let us look at some suitable foods for the elderly the elderly meals should be planned with nutrient-rich foods that include a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, fish, and also lean meats. So you notice that we said lean meat, so no fatty meat that may cause uh, obesity, leading up to uh, hypertension and other cardiovascular diseases, right? Now, seeing that their appetite is on the low for many or various reasons, herbs and spices should be added for flavor to meals to improve interest in eating as appetites might be poor in the senior years right as it relates to snack we have to make them healthy so nutrient rich snacks between meals with fruits vegetables or low fat dairy products should be included in their diet good now as I said before, we spoke of what? Lean protein, so lean meats, seafood, eggs, and also beans, good? Fruits and vegetable, think about orange, red, green, and purple fruits as well. Whole grains with brown rice, whole wheat pastas, low fat dairy products such as milk and its alternatives. Also choose foods that are high in fiber and low in sodium or salt also look for vitamin d and calcium which are very important nutrients at, at this stage so we're trying what to keep the bones healthy and as strong as possible to prevent osteoporosis from developing a meal that is high in fiber will prevent them from being constipated and from if they're not constipated then they're what they have a lower risk of becoming having uh, colon cancer or diverticulitis good all right and of course fruit and, fruits and vegetables you know provides the body with vitamins and minerals which aid in bodily processes and also to repair any urinal tissues as well good all right now foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids are also important for people of all ages 
including who you got it right the elderly right so as it can prevent inflammation which can cause cancer rheumatoid arthritis and also heart disease they can be found in fish mainly. Let's look at the sources because we'll need these to plant suitable meals. So we may speak of sardines, tuna, mackerel, salmon. They are also found in flax seeds, soybeans, canola oil, and also walnuts. Very important for us to include foods that are rich in iron as well, as iron plays a vital role in the body. It produces hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in the blood from the lungs to the rest of the body. Good. Now, when you are not consuming enough iron, there's a limited supply of oxygen to the body's tissue. And we have to limit that in the elderly or prevent that. Good. Now, this results in feeling tired, lethargic, and an iron deficiency, also known as anemia. Now, the elderly should also consume foods that are rich in vitamin C as it has antioxidant properties which are believed to prevent cancer and heart disease. It is also involved in the production of collagen which gives their skin elasticity and give, get rid of dead skin cells and, and, you, and they will have healthy skin right it also helps repair bones and teeth and aids in healing wound this essential vitamin can be found in fruits and vegetables and is also needed for the plant iron sources to be absorbed into the body good now let us look at the sample menus for that are suitable for the elderly and we're starting with breakfast now remember that the quantity is reduced but the quality will remain the same right so we may have orange juice or some melon slices either oatmeal porridge poached eggs so we're poaching the eggs because we're trying to limit the um, the grease good uh wheat toast and also hot chocolate now, snack ideas for the elderly may be fruits or low-fat dairy products as well. Lunch ideas, we may give them a salads or sandwiches. Good. And for dinner, steamed fish or it could be grilled fish with sweet and sour sauce. Brown rice or creamed sweet potatoes. And we're going for brown rice because it's higher, have a higher fiber content than the white rice good and it is more it has more nutrients as well more b vitamins good and the creamed sweet potatoes have less starch content than the white potatoes or we may say the irish potatoes so that is why that is listed there as well we added sauteed vegetables as well as fruit punch good now we're at our activity your task state four factors that may influence nutritional status of elderly persons four marks and this question was taken from the year 2016 and also plan a breakfast menu for your elderly neighbor awesome you've made it to the end of the session please remember to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified when there's another upload most importantly, share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it Ferris Tutorials.